Welcome to the ultimate Xbox setup. A design we approached by not only worrying about what systems to put up, what TV to use, and what knickknacks to decorate with, but starting with something entirely unique to set it apart. A custom entertainment console. And since I don't know anything about woodworking, I went to get help from Chris from Four Eyes Furniture. Okay, so this is the idea I had. I really wanted to kind of drive home this idea of like, you know, a big X for Xbox, you know, thematic thing. Is this something we could do or is this a bad idea and I don't understand how carpentry works? It's something that we could do, but I think that a lot of what you're going for is probably gonna get lost because of the supports that are gonna be needed to make mm. it actually function. Just not this, because if we did do this, it would fall apart the moment we put anything on it. It might, or to make it where it wouldn't, it might kind of lose the X factor that yeah, you're sure. going for. Ah, uh, X factor. <laughs> no pun <laughs> intended. Turns out this was only a minor setback though, as Chris came up with his own new idea and spin on incorporating the X. Now he's actually put up a video on his own channel showing the making of this, so make sure you check that out. And all that hard work led to this. So when Chris first showed me this design, I was immediately in awe for a few different reasons. First, I really loved how it maintained this idea of having this very clear X symbol incorporated into the design by making it recessed in a little bit and using a darker wood, almost making it look like the shelves are kind of floating in space around this X design that you can clearly see in the middle. Another thought I had too right away when seeing it was how it actually kind of reminded me of the original Xbox, which featured this X design on top and a number of lines coming out of the side. Obviously there's fewer more prominent lines and the X isn't quite as big, but it gave me this feeling and thought right away of Xbox's roots. So let's take a look at what we decked this thing out with. Obviously it wouldn't be an Xbox setup without, of course, Xboxes. So going with this sort of tiered arrangement, we have the original Xbox on bottom, Above that we have a 360 opting to go with the slim design over the fatter original and the annoyingly box-like 360E. And on top, taking center stage, is of course the white Xbox One S. Easily the best looking gaming console Microsoft has ever released. Now of course, the One is going to be getting the most use out of the systems here, so set up alongside it on the top, we have a single charging dock for a controller. A great way to keep the controller charged, make it easy to find and grab, and put it on display all at the same time. On the lower shelves, we also added some Hue Go lights to help accentuate the X, making it really pop out at nighttime. Now, last time when we did the Ultimate PlayStation setup, one of the things we did to try and spice it up was incorporate a little figure of Nathan Drake from Uncharted. And I wanted to do the same thing this time, but take it next level. And when you think about Microsoft and Xbox, the one series you have to keep in mind is Halo. So we grabbed this full-size replica of a needler from the series, which is way larger than I expected it to be, but the light-up effects and everything just perfectly complement this setup. I still wanted to keep a few smaller figure knickknacks around, so I had to bring in good old Marcus Phoenix of Gears of War fame, and threw in my favorite pop figure, Titan, for good measure. Titanfall 2 may have gone multi-platform, but the original is still one of the best console exclusives to grace the Xbox One. Now, of course, most of the things on these shelves are for show or obviously the systems we need to play the games, but there's a functional side that we can't entirely ignore, and that's where we brought in these shelves down here. Now, with this, you're gonna be able to hold a lot of different items that you might need to grab every now and then, whether that's controllers for the older systems or some of your favorite games that you wanna have on hand to pull out whenever you wanna play. Then, of course, there's the TV, the thing that ties all of this together to make gaming as immersive as possible. I wanted to make sure we grabbed something that support both 4K and HDR to get the most out of the Xbox One, and this Samsung 4K Ultra HD Smart TV felt like the perfect choice. At 65 inches, it is the perfect size for this cabinet with virtually no bezel, keeping gameplay as the center focus. And what's even better is this is one of the lowest latency modern TVs on the market, which is an absolute must for competitive gaming. I feel like with this design we accomplished all the goals we set for it, something that makes a statement right away with its unique design, showcasing a clear love of Xbox franchises, but at the same time doesn't get bogged down with too much stuff cramped everywhere, keeping it looking clean, and emphasizing the sort of aesthetic and direction the system is going with the Xbox One S. Also if you're wondering what this little box is, it's the emergency Doritos candy and warm Mountain Dew stash. <laughs> 